I don't know if like me, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you are just like assaulted with a group of problems. And, and perhaps in the need to control something, you start to do the math and you're like, where did I go wrong? Did I not plan enough? Did I not strategize enough? Did I not, you know, reach out for help? Did I, am I doing something wrong? Have I not loved God enough? Am I being disobedient? You ask all these questions, basically searching for something within your control so that you can tweak it. And hopefully once you tweak yourself and what you've done, that will fix all of the problems. I don't know if you've been there, but if you have been, I have an interesting verse for you and I to consider today. It says this in John 12, whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now it goes on. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Man, that is not what I say when I wake up to problems. I do not say, well, God, glorify yourself in this hardship. No, I instantly begin looking for ways that I can control the situation. And worse, I assume that I have caused some, some part of this problem. So here's what we need to do. We need to back up when you're having a bad day and don't grab for control. Rather, instead, go to the Father and say, all right, Jesus, while I want a good life free of problems, I recognize that this side of the fall and this side of eternity with you there will be problems in this world. There will be tribulation and all sorts of difficulties that simply are outside of my control. So today, I don't reach for control. Rather, I lay down my life for the sake of your kingdom and for the sake of your glory. If there are things I need to adjust, then I pray you would show me them and help me to adjust them. But if not, and it's just the fact that I'm waking up to a broken and fallen world today, I pray that you would help me to redirect my gaze off of the problems and onto you. I don't want you to save me from this situation. I want you to glorify your name. At the end of this day, at the end of this trial, at the end of this tribulation, as much as I wanna be rescued out of it, what I want more is for your will to be done for your name to be glorified, for people to know you, and for your kingdom to come to earth, because that is where our ultimate hope lies, not in the resolution of our tiny and sometimes massive problems, but rather by fixing our gaze on the author and perfecter of our faith, the one who ultimately is saving and redeeming all of human history, including today. I hope that encourages you.